Hello, we are back with a summer changing video. I have most of my babies in their summer clothes and the girls' babies, but um, we don't have Ada. So she's going to wear that pretty little yellow outfit. I'm going to change her in a minute, but first we're going to show our babies who are already changed. We have Evelyn. She's wearing newborn, uh, just one U, I think. We have Annabelle. This is a three to six Jimboree outfit, and it's just a tiny bit big, but fits her really well. And then we have Bonnie. She's in a zero, three, zero to three, I don't remember what brand, Cat and Jack maybe. And we have uh, Everett. He's in a three month koala baby onesie. And we have Eugenie. She's in a zero to three, I think it's just one U outfit. And then we have Alice. She's in a Creamy Carter's onesie. And then up here, we have Evan. I didn't put him in summer in a summer outfit. I changed him yesterday into this little blue outfit because I thought it just looked so cute on him. It's a Gerber outfit, um, newborn size. And then we have Arlo. He's in a... Uh, I think it's newborn Jimboree, I believe. And then we have um, Frances. She's in a up to seven pounds Jimboree outfit. So they are all ready for summer. It's been pretty hot here, although this weekend it is going to cool down really nice. But um, we've been warm, and so we've got all our babies changed, all except Miss Ada. So she is going to have her turn now. So here's our Ada. She's the um, Alma Sculpt from Bountiful Baby. She was reborn um, by Ariana's Little Blessings. And she's going to wear this little, I think it's Carter's, let me look. Nope, it's Circo. Circo newborn little bubble romper. So I'm going to get her changed. Okay, I'm going to scoot her this way, okay? She's coming out of a newborn um, Carter sleeper. I love the Terry so Cloth awesome. sleepers. Um, they are, to me, super cuddly. I usually think they all the ones I have fit really well. Um, so I, if I see them at a um, oops, Goodwill or a garage sale, if uh, they're in good, clean shape, I scoop the terry cloth ones, and they snap. Um, I scoop those up because they're my favorite. So we are going to take off her onesie. It is too hot for a onesie and an outfit. She has socks on, too. And we are also taking those off. It is socks. just too hot for socks. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's going to be bare feet. My Evelyn's have bare feet. Yep, I took socks off anybody that had them. Except Evan. He's the only one with covered feet. Alright. Yeah, she's got pants on. but I've been wanting to put that outfit on somebody. She's about the only one it will fit. <laughs> because it's big. Plus, it's got those little like ruffle sleeves. And um, Bonnie and Eugenie don't have the uh, uh, right arms to wear that since their arms are three-quarter. And that outfit's kind of big. So I bought that just for Annabelle. Bonnie's is three-quarter? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless I get another big-ish girl, that will be just Ma for her. Mavis. Oh. Mavis is gone. Yeah, Mavis was big. Right, it would have fit Mavis perfect. Oh. Mavis was our... Um, she was the Nina Sculpt by Adri Stoetti that we recently sold because we just I just didn't hold her and cuddle her. She was painted really, really, really well, but she her hair was really, really good. But she she I was scared I was going to ruin her by because I play with mind dolls a lot. We change them, we hold them, and I didn't want to ruin her beauty. <laughs> so I sold her to somebody, um, somebody else. 
Now, one thing that I don't like so much about this doll is her arms are hard to bend. Um, I've considered getting a body that's jointed like Frankie's so that her limbs move freely. But I haven't done it yet, but I've thought about it. Okay, we're going to give her hair a little comb. Look at that pretty little combi hair. It looks just, I mean, it matches her. Let's see if I can. Actually, I might have combed it the wrong way. <laughs> Let's see. That goes that way, and then this goes this way. There we go. It's kind of like a, an S. Kind of. We can see it on camera. It's got sweat. Let's try it out. Let's see if it dries good. But she's got just a teeny tiny bit of hair, which is cute, but her hair is beautiful. Can you see it? So it's got cool. little painted swirl here. And the cool thing about, look at the back, isn't that pretty? I love that. Ariana's little blessings. She does a lot of things live. So I got to watch her paint the hair. First she does um, Prisma Pencil to put in, you know, all the direction and swirls and things she wants. And then she goes over and paints it. And then after she, um, after she, you know, baked it and sealed it, then she rooted it just a tiny bit. But I, it was really cool to see this baby come to life. I watched her live videos where she did her eyebrows and, um, you know, her other layers of paint. So it was really cool. So this is Ada. Look how adorable she looks in this little yellow romper. Look how cute. I thought it was a dress. Nope. Like little Evelyn has. No, nope, it's a romper. So, this is, I mean, since we just got her this winter, this is the first time we've had her in anything that her legs and arms have stuck out. So, doesn't she look super sweet? And I have a yellow pacifier. Doesn't, I don't think it'll look quite right because the yellow is a different shade. But, we'll try it in a little bit. So, that's all that we have for you today. And, bye Ada. If you guys have a favorite one of our dolls, let us know. Um, I do have Arlo up there in the middle for sale, um, and also Frankie or Francis. She's for sale. Um, if you're interested, let me know. Um, but we're just trying to kind of thin out our collection a little. Um, I'm not a huge fan of rooted hair. Arlo's hair is really soft and really pretty, but it gets messed up easily. And with us changing and handling the babies a lot, painted hair just is a lot better. Um, yeah, Bonnie's got rooted hair, but that was a sculpt that I was gonna, wherever I could find it in my budget, I was gonna get it because it's hard to find. So, but her hair is really nice. It doesn't get messed up like Arlo's does. It's just a different type of mohair, but he's got it's super soft, softest hair I've, I've ever felt on a, um, doll. But anyways, um, I am a painted hair person. Maintenance and upkeep is so much easier. I'm okay with the combi hair like she has or like you can't really see it, but she's got a headband. But Annabelle has. Um, Evelyn's got it. Um, Alice has it here under her hat, but um, Frankie's got it back there. That's okay because that's a lot more manageable than a whole head of hair. I don't like when they're laying on the back of it and it gets messed up because of, you know, how you've got them positioned. Or if you're holding them in your arm. So anyways, um, we are selling uh, those two back there. So that's all we have for you today. I do have a new body. I had a custom body made for a doll that I got, which I'll explain later. Um, but be um, watching for that video. I'm going to video that probably later today and get that doll put together. Um, and it's a bigger one. Um, so be on the lookout for that. It's an older sculpt, but a really cute one. So um, I'll post this and then I'll get that posted. Maybe both of them yet today. So keep an eye out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Bye.